Hello and welcome. Neil Ice here from Tax TV. Hope you're all well. Under lights again against Port Vale. It's only a yet so far. But first off, before we start with the game in question, um, just want to thank all Barnes fans and Port Vale fans as well for well observing the, the silence, the one minute silence from the national anthem as well. And well done to the club and the advertising banner uh, went up, uh, were on display. So, yeah, we're a bit of a atmosphere, uh, fair to say, but uh, perfectly observed by both sets of fans on a sad occasion. So, getting back to the game. Um, again, so much to take out of this, the pressing and everything more, more right. Clinical finishes, we, you know, we could have won, we should have, we should have won this. If I'm being honest, referee, absolute dire, didn't know what he was doing. I don't think he even knew his son what he was doing. Some of the decisions, I mean, we keep on about referees instead of refereeing, but my god, woeful, woeful um, at times. And I think both sets of players, not just you know, if I'm being honest, well, undecided what were happening. Regards time wasting, they seem to be. Booking some, letting you know, play go on others, inconsistent, ruined game, didn't tell weak game, but that's not taken away from our own, you know, chances that we should have took. Their goalkeeper all being, you know, fair enough. He had a, a blinder of the game, pulled off some right saves. Collins did for us on a few occasions, like, but their goalkeeper kept a minute well in it. And if I'm you know, I'm not being too critical at all. I think we should have won that. You know, I think it were harsh that we came away with just a, a draw. Again, I think we were about 500 fans on my journey from Port Vale. So fair play to them. You know, midweek game, foot trip, about an hour and a half, I think. An hour and a half drive, travel. So fair play to fans that travelled as well. So we're going to get on to predicted uh, sorry, player ratings. Um, See where we go with that. Again, it's always great to have your feedback and comments as well. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> so I'm just going to get to Bounds player ratings, my player ratings for the game against Port Vale uh, on Tuesday, midweek game under lights. So I'll go to Brad Collins. I'm going to give him 7.4. Looked assured. He did some key saves when it were required at times. Kept calm when required. Again, his goal, you know, goal kicks. I think confidence, I think it's taken a lot from Sheffield in the game. I'm right, moving on from that. 7.4. And again, these are only just my ratings. If you're watching this, you know, uh, watching this, let, let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts about it. Williams. Looks solid. Linked up well. I want to give him a 6.9. Played it right wing back in the Wednesday game. One of his better games I've seen him play. Assist for goal. Great build up. Great understanding. It's, it's starting to see now partnerships and understandings build up amongst players in certain areas. Um, again, I thought it looked solid. Got draw forward when it was required. And assist for goal. And it's ironic that. We'll get to it in a minute. We've got one wing back creating a goal, another wing back scoring a goal. So again, it just showed you there's a there's attacking forward way of thinking that uh Duff's implementing in his in his uh, squad. Matt Anderson, again, seemed to be our lover at, at back, and I don't mean back in a bad way, I mean in a good way. Seems to be you know covering a lot of area, looked in control, captain's performance, you know it. When I say I looked in control, apart from goal, they look pretty assured. They also need to know the roles. And like I said, there's that building understanding with partnerships, what I can see happening on pitch. Kundi stuck to his task at tackles. At times, I thought when he were on one on one, it seemed to be just a bit with pace sometimes. Not his great strength, but he tried to keep line and keep the shape. And I think that's what we've been working on, or, you know, constantly working on, is having the line, eye-pressing line, keeping your shape, 
not getting pulled out of position as you know frequently as you, you can. Still having to cover areas. But for me, I'm going to get Kunde seven. Uh, yeah, seven. Connor, Connor McCarthy. Uh, McCarthy. Uh, 7.1. Again, try to keep his shape at back. Look pretty settled. 7.1 because I'm just thinking about a bit more. He will a bit like an Anderson. It, it tends to be covering a lot of area at back. Whether that were because wing backs were like pushing on, we get to wing backs in a minute under kitchen because we're getting pushed, you know, wing backs pushing on a lot. It's tend to be like mopping up and covering up a lot. So for me, I want to get kind of 7.1. Kitchen thought it was one of his best performances. I've seen him ev, if I'm being honest, and I can see the confidence coming in, kid. Uh, 8.5. Work rate, driving for it, pushing for it. I think, you know, it's, it's for Skull. Boost confidence. going to boost his confidence. Trying to get areas, and again, options. I think it's something that's been worked on. I didn't see him as a left wing back role, if I'm being honest. So I'm always a central defender, but again, what we've been worked on in training, it's working, it looks happy. The player looks happy. So for me, the back three and two wing backs look pretty assured. Didn't really look troubled if I'm being my opinion. You know, I don't think they look really troubled until they created that goal, that you know, the score goal. So if, I thought it would be harsh on the, the defensive line up the unit. I thought it would be test pretty pretty well. You could tell that they were gutted when goal went in for them. I didn't go down, I didn't mean that, but they look gutted as in come so near yet so far. And again, a draw. And it didn't deserve, in my opinion, it didn't deserve a draw. We deserved win from that. <clears throat> Herbie Kane, back from injury. It was great to see him back from injury. Um, I think he plays 70 odd minutes, something like that. Look comfortable in midfield for me, having a solid game. And they'll get on the bats with the shorts in a minute. Uh, I thought Wolf was 6.5 when he came on. He tried keeping it, but I thought the players that were sub... There was no disrespect to players what came on the substitutions. But I thought when the substitutions were made, that were one at turning points. I think we lost his bit of momentum there away. Herbie Kane in midfield. I'll get on to uh, Devante Cullen, uh, Aitchison up front. I thought we missed that bit of pressing and taking it to him. Um, that's just my thoughts. What I've, I've seen, what I've heard behind me, it stands as well. Is that we lost some of his his eye pressing, his closing down. That urgency went away up front, and I kind of agree with it. I kind of agree with it. But great to see her be back. A bit like a new signing, if I'm being honest. Uh, another player to throw into a mix in midfield. So for me, uh, became seven point five. Good to see him back uh, playing. Thomas seven point five again. He were in that operating area just be, just behind the front two. Tried to get things going in midfield, pressed and closing down, never gave up. And again, one of them players that got subbed off, and I think we lost that bit of it. closing down in the final third. Alan Phillips came on, but for me, I think. Will he sent to alter and affect his in game? I don't think they'll that eye press as much as when uh, these substitutions were made. Luca, Luca Connell, 7.8. For me, he just he's wanting ball all the time. You know, we've been saying this over, over ratings and that he has a blip now and again, but again, he's wanting ball. He wants to pick it up from midfield, goalkeeper, wherever he wants to pick it up from defence. Set pieces again, uh, corners. And in final third, he's just trying to get all over, just trying to get people going. And I think he's a, a great player. I really, really do. I think he's a great player. I'm wanting to just drive and win and play. And for me, 7.8, 7.8 for Luka. Jack H is uh, Jack H is sorry I'm going in front. Devante, seven point five. Again, he had a couple of chances. 
all in ball up, running into channels, trying to link up with such as Thomas and Jack Aitchison. I think when Norwood came on, we lost it, I think, and Devante were well, gutted when he came off. Watching in front of us in Ponty End, and you could tell he was. Although, it's good to see in a way that he's wanted to still play and carry on. I think that affected us up, up top. Yeah, Norwood, you know, trying to get some tackles. I mean, he picked up a, a booking in what, before he even came on. That's how bad referee he was for the uh, Port Bell when we took him for him. He warming up and he got a yellow card. Again, poor officiating, but get back to football. I don't want to make it a programme about a referee show because that's what we want, isn't it? But for me, yeah, Devante visibly didn't want to come off. You could tell he wanted to stay on for cause and that's what I want to see as a fan, see a player do that. His work rate, can't fault it. Just at times, I think he just hit it, just to get your laces through it. But again, you can't fault the work rate. It's very weak, lad. Jack Aitchison, ah. uh, again, another player that he looked like I want to still be on, I don't want to come off. Close down, work rate. I'm, it seems to be every week he's doing the same thing, what he's being asked to do. Close down, I press, close down, running channels, don't, and he's just doing it all the time. Honest to God, <clears throat> can't fault him as a for, for the effort that we're putting into the game. Closing down again at times, final third, a bit more clinical, slight blip, 7.2 on one game. And again, when Martin came on, tried, I mean, he had his, he just got it tipped over at bar, didn't it? You know what I mean? Another keeper, the, might even met it. We pulled off a decent save, and you know what a what a substitution that would have been made. You know we were Norwood against Chef Wednesday. <clears throat> Could have had another substitute come on and uh, get three points for this, but it wanted to be. So that they're, they're my ratings uh, for players. Again, you might agree disagree. For me, man at match kitchen. I know he didn't get it in official man at match. Which I were a bit surprised in all respect to you know rest of players on pitch, but quite a few people behind me were like, "Well, I'd get a kitchen me, been driving for it, been got goal and been doing." It. So again, there's no disrespect. It's good to have a few choices for uh, man at matches, but I think, like I said, not our point a bit too much. But these substitutions, I think, affected the game. I think it affected our eye press. Tempo, what we're taking to him, and yeah, you're always going to get an opportunity to come on to you. Uh, Port Vale did, they're going for a, a draw, they're going for a win, aren't they? When you're away from home, you're going to chuck more salt kitchen sink into it. But it won't to be, we you know, it were a draw on game, yeah, of course, you want to be picking three points up all day long. Still in touch, I mean, you look at table, it's still early days, isn't it? But signs of here, just for me, and it's been on and on and on. Up front, I do think we are missing the a, a clinical fin a, a finisher. Aiden Marsh going out on loan. Lady Zek has gone out on loan. <clears throat> Attacking options now: Devante Cole, Jack Aitchison, Norwood, and Tedich. For via. Are we going to get someone who's going to actually go on a bit of a, a goal scoring streak, you know, and build the confidence? I'd like to think so, but we'll wait and see. And if I don't get suggestion, January transfer window. So, again, please like, subscribe, and share. Appreciate all your comments and everything what you do. Let me know your thoughts. Do we deserve a win? What it a draw? Oh, we are man at match. Might be just to find out. Oh, we are man at a match for the game last night. One thing left to say. You Reds. <laughs>